Can you talk, can you talk about the evolution of your characters and any new tech that we can see in Civil War? No, no of course. Surely. Um, <laughs> uh, I think I think with with uh, with Steve Rogers, it's a matter of in the in, in the first Cat movies, in the first Avengers films, he's always known he's always known uh, who to fight for. It's easy to know Nazis are bad, aliens are bad. Bring him in. I'm with you, homie. I'm with you right now. Uh, on this movie, yeah. you know, let's, you let's just move this over here. Let's just move this, it's, Mr. It's, President. Yep, yep. It's a conflict because. You don't know who's right and who's wrong. Very good, very good. That's what makes the movie so dynamic. It's very, easy when you understand the very side to fall on. Quaint Cap doesn't know who to be. Um, mm. and, and, and Tony makes it tricky. Nailed it. Ooh, nailed it. <laughs> From Steven's point of view, why is Tony wrong? Uh, well, again, well I don't think it's I don't think either one of us in the movie can say if Tony's right or wrong. I just think it's about what we think ourselves of the accords so it's not about him being wrong more than it's about what we believe as individual heroes Chris, that was real good that was real good like that? That, that sounded good thanks man no thanks, Romanian homie. accent no you want me to you want some Romanian no nope, okay nobody. all right all right he's jealous because I'm working on a Romanian character responded very well to the relationship between Bucky and Cap and do you see that with your on-screen relationship with uh, Sebastian you're not going to say Cap and Falcon we had a great them, relationship all of, them, all of them but like the stuff in the, so in the trailer him saying he remembers you Bucky. Why do you think stop, the right? audience he has cried. connected so strongly to that relationship? Well, I think, in a, you know, it's, it's the, you know, the best thing about Cap is he's such a sympathetic character. He struggles so much. He doesn't bleed on people. So having a character who's always kind of taken his conflict in such a personal manner, when he has the opportunity to reconnect in a way that could be purely self-serving, it's, it's, not, it's not for the greater good, it's not for anyone else, it's just for him. And he's put himself last so often, so many times, when you have a character that just remembers him, and he actually has a, a flash of, of uh, personal agenda, it's, it's, it's rewarding. I like it in these movies. I like those moments where Cap just gets to have a little nugget just for himself, and, and Bucky remembering him is really nice. How much of that do you think is about your chemistry with Sebastian? Wow. None. I, Wow, none. You know how hard that is? Shots fired! <laughs> yeah, but the first no. is well, I have to clarify this, or this is going to be Yeah, this is going to be bananas. This is going to be bananas. No. Sebastian is one of the best actors we could possibly have yeah. asked for in this movie. He's phenomenal. And and it's 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 enormously based on the, the chemistry that Sebastian has established in the past movies. And, you know, we, and we, we, we owe him... We owe him a lot. Yeah, and all of us have a great relationship together, so it's hard not to bring those relationships on screen. So, of course, it, it influences it a great deal. Yeah. We just make fun of each other all day. <laughs> the last Avengers movie. Oh, sorry, Stop with your blue eyes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just knock it off. Just knock it off.